There is a girl in the West whose name is Emily Starr. In 2019, she found love in a laundromat. On January 3rd, 2019, Emily Starr entered her local laundromat. She brought with her her favorite novel, Powder and Patch. Exactly five minutes later, Philip Jettin, a local boy of Emily's age, also entered the laundromat with his clothes and his favorite book, a collection of short stories by H.P. Lovecraft. It was at this moment that Emily's ADHD began to draw her mind away from her book and to the boy seated across from her. You see, Emily was a girl described by others as quirky and interesting, although she would describe herself as traditional. She only held interest in things that had come before a long time ago, finding old books in antique shops, listening to old music, watching old movies. Philip himself was only interested in things that people who are dead enjoyed, like his stories of H.P. Lovecraft, his collection of Agatha Christie books, and genealogy. And right as Philip got to the exact paragraph found in the middle of What the Moon Brings, he noticed Emily watching him across the room. Five minutes passed, and neither of them could focus on their respective books. Finally, Emily mustered the courage to talk to Philip. Emily introduced herself and asked him what he was reading. Immediately, Emily realized that Philip's name was the exact same as the male protagonist of her favorite book, which she happened to be reading at that moment. Philip discovered that Emily's name was also the same as the main character in his mother's favorite book, Emily and the New Moon. As they continued to talk and forget about their laundry, they realized that they shared many interests in old things that they thought everyone else had forgotten about. How peaceful they both felt that they had found someone who shared their love of tradition. It was at this moment that they began to develop a bond with each other, and 5,000 miles away, at that same moment, three short stories by H.P. Lovecraft, the novel, Emily and the New Moon, Georgette Heyer's Powder and Patch, and Murder on the Links by Agatha Christie officially entered the public domain, though this was purely by coincidence, right? <laughs>